Alright everybody and welcome back to the Goodie Pantry. So today we're going to be making a lemon drizzle cake. You can see how it turned out on the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. There's your ingredients on the screen. So let's get straight on into the video. So these are ingredients. We've got the lemon, sugar, butter, got my flour and I've got my eggs. So the first thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to use a stand mixer. If you don't have one of these and you're using a hand mixer, you're just doing it by hand. That's fine, just follow the same steps. So first of all, we've got our sugar and our butter going into the mixer. So I'm setting this away just on a low speed for the first few seconds, and then I'm turning it up to medium. Now this is going to run between 5 to 8 minutes until I get a really pale colour, but essentially a buttercream. So that's what it's like after the eight minutes. Now this is the, the good way to know when you've done, when you've got this part done correctly, sorry. is when it peels in color compared to how you started. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna add my eggs. Now I've already just lightly beaten my eggs in the, the jug. And I'm just gonna set this away for a couple of seconds just to help incorporate it all. I don't like to overbeat this because sometimes this is what can make your mixture curdle. So as I said, just a little bit, a few seconds brought it in, and then the bits on the sides, I'm just going to scrape down. Now when you do this, just scrape them down, you don't have to beat them in, because this is all going to happen when you do the flour. So now I've got that done, I'm going to add my, my lemon zest. So with the finest side of the grater, just grate the zest off the lemon. And then when you've got that done, then start adding your lemon juice. Ideally, if you've got a lemon squeezer or use one of them, I'm just using my hand. Once you've got that done, so get it back on your mixer. And we're going to set this away on the lowest speed. Now you can see what mine looks like. It's a very slow speed, which is ideal for the flour. So I'm just adding the flour in now one tablespoon at a time. And you'll just see how it just slowly comes together. It is worth pointing out though, if you are using a standard mixer, so I know some standard mixers, even the low speed can be quite quick. If your standard mixer does do that, if you think it's too quick, just do this part by hand. So there's all our flour in now, and as you can see, it's doing exactly what it should. It's just slowly bringing everything in together. So at this point, when you go around, and once you see there's no more flour, then you're going to stop your machine. So now I'm going to get ready for them. So I'm using, I've used this in my previous videos as well. I'm using a silicon loaf pan. Now this one is a two pound pan. Um, so this is going to take the whole mix. Uh, so if you're doing this, maybe your tin might be a bit smaller, sometimes they are. So a good way to tell is that you're going to want to fill this to three quarters of the way up. If you're doing this and you see like, your mixture's gone right to the top, it just means yours is a little smaller than mine. But just take some out. You can always make a couple of cupcakes if you've got some mixture left. So this is another thing, and I just lightly greased this with uh, some of the margarine that I had from the cake. And now I'm just going to level out the cake mix. So this is going to go in the oven now, and so I'm going to put this in at 160 degrees uh, fan, which is 180 regular for an electric oven without a fan, gas mark for or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is going to cook for 40 to 50 minutes. 
So this is mine after 45 minutes. Now this is how I checked it. And I'm gonna show you this on the bench because mine's cooked, but do this in the oven. Prick it with a skewer. And if it comes out clean, it's done. If it comes out cake mix on, it's not done. And it needs a few more minutes. So get on your cooling tray and leave it a good five, 10 minutes just to let it settle. And then as soon as you can, and as soon as it's cool enough to handle, get it out onto your curling rack. So once it's on your curling rack, you want to give it another 20 minutes to let it cool. Because you want the outside to be cool, but the inside will still be hot. So this has been sat for the 20 minutes. So now I'm just with the skewer, I'm just going to poke a load of holes in the top. Now you want this for your topping because it seeps through all those holes and this is what gives the lemon drizzle a really good flavour. So with the icing sugar now, now I didn't put the measurements on because it all depends on how much juice you get out your, your lemon. The, the tiniest bit of liquid impacts icing sugar a lot. So you basically just want to mix the lemon juice and zest with enough icing sugar till you get the consistency of my glaze here. So to give you an example, I used about 10 tablespoons of icing sugar to get this consistency from the lemon. So you just want to put that on the top and just start smoothing it around, get it onto every edge and what you'll see, you can see it in some of the cases now, it's already the cake starting to show back through. Because the cake's still warm, it's melting the icing sugar and it's going into all those holes that we poked in the cake. So that's mine done, so now this is going to sit for another 10 minutes to let the cake do its job with the icing sugar and let everything seep through. So this is mine now after it's all fully cooled. And now we're just going to cut the end piece off. And there you can see the nice rich cake inside. So there it is guys when it's done, as I say, this is a really old school cake but it's still as popular as ever. You see in all the coffee shops and everything around here so. Give it a go, let me know what you think, how did you get on, let me know in the comments below. If there's anything you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.